Hi, I'm John Deck with GolfSwing.com. Today we're talking about the Pitch Perfect scoring system, and we're going to talk about the bunker, and we're going to talk about your stance width. Whenever I talk about stance width, I always use the analogy with the rubber band. If I have a rubber band, the more I pull it back, the more power I create. Notice my left hand doesn't move, my right hand's moving, so the more I pull that back, the more tension I create. When you're in the bunker, you have resistance with the sand. We're trying to hit the sand. We're trying to control the sand. We're trying to move the sand from the bunker out into the green. If we can't get the sand out, we can't expect the ball to come out. So it's important that we have power. And anytime I want power, I'm going to take my right foot and widen it out. I get much wider in the bunker than I do in pitching or uh, in chipping. So I, because I need the power, I have the resistance of the sand. So I'm gonna go ahead, I'm gonna put my feet together in position one, then I'm gonna go to position number two where I open up my left foot, and then I'm gonna go to position number three and I widen my stance. And then from there, I'm gonna dig my feet into the sand and set my weight to the left. Notice how wide I am, I'm wider than my shoulders. This guarantees me to hit behind the ball every time. I'm going to hit, I'm going to hit, I'm not going to hit the ball, I'm going to hit the sand. And from there, I can go ahead and aggressively turn through and face the target. Make sure that you're getting wide in the bunker and you're setting your weight left. If you do that, you'll have the foundation to get the ball out every time.